for Sunny P. And she was getting her pussy ate. And she was like, yeah, daddy, you better get that pussy, eat that cake. You know what? Cat's Cafe. That'll work. That's how she did it. Y'all ever had a nigga eat your pussy so good you get mad with him? Nobody? Just me? Like, you should be nothing, but you looking at this motherfucker glaring. Like, how many other bitches you did this to? I want their fucking names and Facebooks and Instagrams. I want everything. Fuck? How dare you do this shit and set this bar this fucking high? Who else is gonna do this? <laughs> Can't even leave this motherfucker alone. You know, I was I had so much energy when I got here. Cause I got this album from the flea market and I talked to Africans down. <laughs> he was like 45, I was like 35. He was like 40, I was like 35. Finally, he was like 25. I was like, God damn, y'all don't teach negotiation in y'all country, do y'all? Like, what the fuck? I gave him that money so fast. But yeah, I knew my daddy. My daddy just wanted shit. That's worse than not knowing your daddy. It actually is. So when you, when your daddy ain't shit, hold his life. Oh, that's y'all got real quiet. I'm the only one in that damn shit. All these black people here is just me. It's just me. Nah, he really was not a good daddy. He really wasn't. So you tend to, you know, have sex with felons. What you do? You do the opposite of whatever your daddy is. My daddy's a veteran. He's a chemical engineer. He's smart. Got a degree. So I like to fuck niggas who just got out and sell drugs. That's what I do. That's why all my kids is half brothers. <laughs> good. It took y'all a minute. They over here like, wait a minute. How many baby daddies is that? Like one, two, three. Now I have three boys. I got three boys. Only one daddy raised them. That's the way it fucking works. You got five kids, you get one good man to raise them. You make bad decisions all throughout your twenties, and you get thirty, and you find somebody who wanna fix all of them. You know, somebody gotta help. That's what they mean when God will you somebody. You fuck up your life, you try to help me out. Give you one chance. Yeah, there you go. It worked out for me. It worked. You see, I'm in Atlanta. I'm from Augusta. My kids got a babysitter. <laughs> Like that. Now, but I've been doing comedy a little over a year, and I really love it. It's been good to me. I've been able to travel a little bit. I went to Jackson. I headlined. I've been to Charleston a few places. Pretty much the southeast, you know. Pretty much. I ain't been. I, I ain't been a whole lot of places <clears throat> doing comedy. <laughs> but I've been a lot of places. <laughs> But I like comedy. The only thing I don't like is that I'm still new, so I ain't really making money like this. So my car raggedy. So when I go places and like I have to rent a car, like I get so mad. You ever had some shit better than yours and you be pissed off when you get to your shit? So they rented me this 2018 when I went to Mississippi. It was so nice. It was a Nissan. Man, that shit had stuff in I was never gonna figure that shit out over the weekend. It was so fucking nice. I get back to Enterprise. And they take the keys and I go out to my car and I'm like, look at this piece of shit I'm driving. What the fuck is wrong with my life? Where did I go wrong? Like I just didn't even appreciate this shit. I'm like, you ain't even got heated seats, so I keep on getting the fucking flu. I'ma die driving this raggedy piece of car. Shit is ridiculous. Too cute to have this raggedy ass car. Real mad. <laughs> 